Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's video, we're gonna be hunting in parquet for axes deer. <laughs> I know I said I wouldn't hunt them again, but this I just could not turn down. What I'm gonna show you in today's video is pretty crazy, so you're gonna wanna stick around right to the end. But before we head into the video, if you guys wouldn't mind, stop what you're doing and hit that subscribe button, click that notify bell, and if you guys enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment. Thank you guys so very much for being here today. Okay, so last Monday, True Rack for Axis Steer were released a day early, and as you guys know, there are level 5 Axis Steer everywhere. They are bugged, and so there are a severe excess, <laughs> way too many level 5s hanging around right now, and so there is no challenge to the hunt. So at the end of that video, I told you guys I would not hunt for Axis Steer again until they were fixed. But what happened was a good friend of mine who I've hunted with way before I started YouTube, he found an absolutely crazy find and he was nice enough to offer it to me so that I could show it to you guys. So I just couldn't say no to that. I just felt compelled to do it because it is quite a find. And so that will be at the end of today's video. Now, when you guys see me kill something in a video, I will only put something in a video that I find. That's just my policy. I do have things offered to me all the time by friends, by viewers, and I always say no. And I'm not trying to offend anyone or upset anyone. I just want to maintain the integrity of my channel. And I just feel strongly that what I show you is my hunting and it's what I have found. And if I have to hunt for 12 hours to show you guys something cool, that's what I'll do. That is a piebald max weight range level four axis deer. And I am pretty happy to find that. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. That is a very big piebald axis deer. Now, piebalds in axis deer are not very rare for being a rare, but this is a pretty nice one. It's the biggest one that I've ever seen. So I definitely am going to shoot him. He's beautiful. I don't know, I guess I felt like with Axis Deer being broken, that with no challenge in it, that it isn't a lot of fun to watch me hunt them, so I decided I wouldn't do it. But how do you guys feel about it? Would you guys like to see me grind for a diamond albino Axis Deer? Would you like me to do that? Or would you like me just to wait until they're fixed? Can you let me know in the comments? I would love to know how you guys feel about it. All right, here we go. I'm using the Mosin for Axis. And that is going to be a very dead piebald Axis deer, and that is awesome. I am very happy about that. Let's go have a look at them. Even though they are fairly common, they are beautiful. Like, look how pretty that is. That is absolutely stunning. All right, let's pick it up. Just taking a couple photos here. Okay, so we do have a gold 193 trophy piebald axis deer, 66.94 kilograms. And we popped him in the left lung from 148.96 meters. And he has a pretty uh, funky rack. He's got one long brow tine and one shorter one. It's definitely very mismatched. Now I need to go pick up that absolutely beautiful level seven red deer that had an absolutely gorgeous rack, probably my favorite rack in the whole game. So I'm excited to go over there and pick it up, but we have another herd here and there is another level seven in there. There it is. I can't get a spot on it, but that definitely looks like a seven. Hopefully that was, we picked them out. Hopefully that was good. No hunting pressure yet. That's not good. Oh yeah, he's down. Sometimes it takes a second. And that's a gold, 182.8. 208.23 kilograms. And this guy was shot from 205.41 meters with the M1. And that is a pretty nice rack. 
I like how the side tines are a little shorter, but the crown tines are quite long. Very, very pretty. Not a max weight range one, but still quite nice. And that is where we found them. And we still have one more to pick up. Yes, this is my favorite one. Look at this, guys. Look at the rack on this one. I'm just gonna take a photo of it real quick. All right. Look how beautiful. This rack is like perfect. I absolutely love that there are just so many tines and I don't know, it's just perfectly symmetrical. It's stunningly beautiful. I absolutely love this red deer rack. If we could get one of those in a legendary, that would be sweet. And so if you guys want to look at your true score evaluation, if you are on Xbox, just press the right bumper, I believe. It is muscle memory for me. And that is how you get it. So right now I am making a guide for black bucks. Should come out tomorrow. And I have found a pretty nice herd of axis deer feeding with a level five in it. So since he's there and he is on my own map, I'm going to shoot him. Maybe he won't be a common, that would be nice. And I am very curious to see how they respawn. I have heard, and I don't know if this is true because I have not seen it for myself in a photo or anything, but I have heard that Axis deer are respawning up to level seven, just like the mule deer did. I'm hoping that's a rumor, but I am very curious to see how this is gonna respawn. So I am taking all the level fives off of my map. And that looks like a dark. A dead dark. <laughs> that takes care of him. And I always use the Mosin when I am hunting for Axis deer. I just very much prefer it to the 243. I am gonna start taking out the air gun and some other guns like that. Try out some new weapons that I haven't used too much. And this guy is a diamond, 224.7. He is a dark, which is awesome. 72.16 kilograms and we popped him in the left lung from 163.32 meters. And we found him right here. Awesome lake. And here he is, guys. Here he is, a level five melanistic axis deer. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm looking at that. That's crazy. So a huge thank you to Diedrich Shadow for inviting me to hunt for this guy. Thank you so much. Wow. Now, I definitely don't want to mess this up because my friend would probably murder me. <laughs> so would you guys, I'm sure. I'm not intending to. I got so excited I walked right into the lake. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, he is done. He is smoked. He is going to pile up any minute now. Yes, baby. Yes. Oh, man. I can't wait to see this. So we are on Backwards Crescent Lake. Another awesome lake for Axis Deer. And look at this guy. Look how black he is. Wow. Sorry, I just have to take a bunch of photos. This is crazy. And he is a diamond. Melanistic Axis diamond. That is crazy. 227.1. Anyways, 74.7 kilograms. We popped him in the left lung. From 106.86 meters. That is pretty sweet. So let's head into the lodge and have a look at these three very cool Axis steer. And this is Backwards Crescent Lake. All right, let's go in here and look at him. Wow, that is just stunning. That is crazy. Never thought I would ever see one of these, but you know what? I guess that's what they call making hay while the sun shines. 
He is beautiful. He really is. I've been hunting for diamond rares for quite a while now, as I do have all the diamonds except for the Euro hair. And they are really not easy to find. They really are not. This is our Dark from today. Found him on my own map. He is very nice as well. I love the new Trurax. They did an amazing job on them. And this is our level 4 Piebald. And that's a pretty sweet find as well. And I think that's a great way to wrap up our video for today. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't done so yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys can join us for more videos. We have lots of awesome content coming up. Until next time, you guys take care. We'll see you soon.